Hey you guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna go through what I melted last week for our melting challenge. So um, our melting challenge last week was to melt things from one vendor. And I loved this. Um, you know, Drew is an absolute genius when he came up with his list of um, prompts. And I'm so excited to like keep going. So um, last week was to melt from one vendor. And so lots of people chose things from lots of different um, vendors. And I think I'm the only one who chose from this vendor, which is super cool. So I chose from Jim's Daughter Crafts. If you watched my melting basket, the reason I chose that one is because I wanted one that I wanted a vendor that I had enough of that I could melt the whole week. Um, and one that I needed to sort of make decisions about, like, is this um, repurchase territory? Is this, um, you know, a vendor that I want to continue to buy from? Is this a vendor that performs well? Do I like the scent? That sort of thing. So um, this week really helped me decide that. I did not melt every single thing that I had available from Jim's daughter, um, but probably 80, 85%. So I have um, a little bit left. Um, but it's really helped me make some decisions. So let me show you what I melted. So I melted um, her first birthday, which was pink sugar and birthday cake. This um, actually just smelled kind of body care-esque, but it was very light. Um, I mixed it. I know that these don't sound good, but this was a um, birthday suit. I mean, it's birthday, right? That's kind of the same. And this is a blend of Skinny Dippin', which is a Scentsy type, and Bedtime Bath. And this one I liked much better. I would never have put these things together. I don't really like Skinny Dippin' from Scentsy, but this one smelled really nice. Um, the Bedtime Bath made it also body care, but in a way that was much stronger. Um, so I did like this one better. Um, I did um, this one, which was Tropical Island, a blend of Butt Naked and Sun Your Bums. Um, and I really liked this. This one is very, um, like pineapple-y and, um, then I think probably the boom, boom, bum, bum, I don't know how you want to say it type, um, and a little bit of like copper tone-esque, like sunscreen smell. It was really good. So I really liked that one. Um, it's, it's heavy on the pineapple, which I liked. I did a little bit of Gypsy Soul. Gypsy Soul is lemon sparkle, coconut, golden saffron, cherry blossoms, pineapple, star jasmine, sandalwood, patchouli cedar, musk, and vanilla. Um, and this just makes me think it's probably one oil when it has all of those scent notes. In the bag, it smells really good. On warm, I could not, I couldn't smell it, honestly. This is from 521, you can see. Um, and it's like a little snap bar, let me see. Like these little snap bars, and I did three of them. Um, but I used it in an element warmer and, um, it just did not perform. Let's see. I did, um, moon bounce, which is Luna type. That's like Scentsy and cream soda. I never would have put these two together. Smells really great. Um, on warm, it was like a medium intensity. Um, the cream soda doesn't actually smell like effervescent. It smells mostly like Luna with like a lot more sweetness. It was really nice. Um, but it was medium intensity and it didn't have a long lasting performance. So I probably wouldn't purchase it again because of the performance issue, but it was okay. Um, I did his first birthday, which is um, blend of blue sugar and birthday cake. And again, I just could not smell this very much. Um, even in the bag, it's very hard to smell. I do like blue, blue sugar and I do like birthday cake, but it just was not very strong. So um, I did Mermaid Cove. And Mermaid Cove was coconut water, lemon zest, Valencia orange, pineapple, sea lily, lychee blossom, sugarcane, amber sand, and tiari flower. And this one was okay. It was kind of a large, like, if you can see the outline, like this. So pretty large chunk of wax. And I used it all. And I would say strength was maybe a 5 out of 10, maybe. Um, so... The scent itself was really nice, but the performance on strength was pretty light for as much as I put in there. One thing that I knew, like I've realized that she does super duper well is coffee. So this is a liquid hug, which is a blend of coffee and peppermint mocha. Her coffee, since I got a coffee sampler from her and 
if I was going to recommend one kind of scent to get from Jim's daughter, it would be coffee because on cold, it smells sort of like that wet dog, like bitter, like coffee that's been sitting, um, you know, like at the bank all day, kind of burned coffee, but on warm, so good, like super strong, like roasty toasty coffee this one has the peppermint in it and i loved it it was it's super strong and i just did one little bean and i did that two different times and it was very strong it took over like my whole downstairs when i was melting other stuff and i just melted one little piece in this room um let's see i did some samples um while i was at work that weren't gym so i'm trying to just like make sure those are out of here um i did eucalyptus and spearmint which is um eucalyptus spearmint and bergamot super duper strong yeah super strong i loved this one um i would recommend i would get that again um glass slipper um and glass slipper is lemon valencia orange lime sugared mint verbena um orange blossom italian cedarwood and musk um this one was really good it was very lemony like that was the predominant note it does say sparkling lemon as the top and that's definitely what i got and it was good like, um, it was, um, medium intensity, um, but it did last longer than some of the other ones. I did grass stained knees, which is fresh cut grass and honey, I wash the kids, which is a lush, lush type. I couldn't smell this one. Um, in the bag, it smells really good. The grass is like that sweet green grass, um, kind of dewy grass, not the like, um, not that like really earthy grass, but more of like that sweetened grass. And then honey, I washed the kids is kind of soapy. Um, in the bag, it smells really good. It did not perform for me. I did drama queen, probably the best performer of the week, uh, pink sugar and peppermint. So it doesn't sound, I mean, it sounds like, you know, every other pepperminty blend, but I have to tell you that the peppermint is super strong in here. It is not Rose Girl's peppermint but it is equally nose clearing. It is very strong and very nice. That was a really good one. Um, I did lemon laundry. I love anything lemon and laundry. This is lemon drop candy and game type. This one smells really good. Medium plus intensity, um, good performance. I would repurchase that one. I like this one a lot, Boogie Fever, which is camphor, eucalyptus, and mint. It is very Vix. Very Vix, but I really liked it. Um, it was a good performer, probably the longest lasting scent here. Um, whereas the uh, this one, the Drama Queen, the Peppermint and um, Pink Sugar was the strongest scent. This was probably second strongest and um, lasted the longest. So I really did like that one. Um, I did um, In the Stars type. Um, which is starflower, sandalwood, musk, sugar, tangelo, white agarwood, and amber. And I believe this is a Bath and Body Works type. It smells really good. Um, it is more powdery than I like. Sandalwood to me reads that way and musk reads that way. And so sandalwood musk, like I should have known, right? So the scent appeal for me was not that great, but I have to say that this one lasted a really long time too. I was impressed with that um, performance wise. For me, it's not a repurchase only because of the scent appeal, but um, the, the throw is good. And then I did two of these, which is Circus Concessions, Cotton Candy, Caramelized Apples, and Hints of Funnel Cake. These were really good. Um, I don't have like a long history of buying everybody's um, Circus Concessions. I think you know who does, one of my friends. Um, but this one is good. I don't have it, I don't have a lot of others to compare it to. So if this is what the others smell like, I get the hype. Like it's caramely and apple-y and sweet. It's really nice. Um, I would say medium plus, um, good long lasting, I would repurchase. I did um, Ocean, Sun, Ocean, Sun and Sand. And um, this was good. Um, it, I don't, I'm trying to think of what, like it's mostly like, to me, cocoa butter cashmere and like a little bit of a citrus note and like salty sea air. It's, re it's really good um, for scent appeal. I really like that. It wasn't a super long lasting performer, but I could smell it when it was there. Um, this is Jess's 
candy cookies, which is a blend of lavender, cotton candy, butter mints, and sugar cookie. And in the bag, it smells really nice. I could not smell this at all on warm. Again, I did it in an element warmer and I did three little ones of these chunks. I love the look of them though. They're really pretty, but I just could not smell it. Um, so when I do, when I do these again, like all three of these kind, I'm going to put them in a different warmer. I did grasshopper cocktail, which is lime, agave syrup, cream de menthe, mint, light rum, vodka, vanilla, and green musk. This is not boozy at all. It is, um, it is really pretty nice. Like it is like, it has that cream de menthe which I smell the most, but it's like um, a little bit chocolatey and like a little bit minty and pretty sweet, um, no boozy note, pretty good performer. Um, and then my favorite of the whole week, like hoard worthy to me is beach hair, whatever, which is salty sea air and shave and a haircut. I loved this. I don't think I've ever smelled it before. I can't think of it if I have. Oh, but I loved it. I love the scent on cold. I love the scent on warm. It was really good. I chopped it into four pieces and I'm like, I only want to use one because I like it. Oh, that's such bad tendencies. But I love that one. I love it. So um, that's what I got through. And then um, in my office at work, I did a couple of samples. I did holiday compote from Hayden Rowe. I did not like this one. Um, it has that cider lane oil that I that is just like, too cloying for me, too sweet, like on the verge of being like medicinal. I don't like it. Um, it's a strong scent though. So if you like that cider lane oil, like a lot of people do, like I'm in the minority. Um, this is a really good one. And then I did super tarts, um, advent from not last year, but the year before marshmallow fluff, chocolate chip cookie dough and waffle cone. Y'all this, I could smell like in the bathroom at my office, like it was super strong. It was very chocolatey. And I don't know how they get like the dough note, but it's not chocolate chip cookies. It's chocolate chip cookie dough. It's definitely dough and not, it's got that like uncooked smell. I don't know. It's so weird, but it's like, you can, you can, you know how when you cream together flour, sugar, butter, butter eggs kind of thing, when you cream all that together, it has kind of that particular smell that's almost molasses-y, like kind of really dark buttery note, you know? That's what it smells like. Um, it's so good. Um, I don't like chocolate and wax, but I would repurchase this one because it was a super strong, excellent performer. Um, I don't know if this comes across, but these bags have started to like disintegrate because of the um, fragrance oils. Like that's how much fragrance oil they use. So, I mean, um, Super Tars fans like understand they have great performing wax. And for the most part, that has been my experience too. Um, that one was really strong. So let me tell you my thoughts on Jones. So um, she is the vendor of the week in one of the wax chat groups. I don't know if it's actually wax chat or wax rants and raves or for the love of what I don't know for the love of wax maybe I'm not sure I'm part of too many wax groups but she is a vendor um, of the week so look and see they have some um, giveaways and things like that my experience with Jim's daughter's crafts number one is that she's super responsive she's a really fun group they are really interactive she always has things going on um, samplers and things like that um, her wax to me the consistency is pretty crumbly. So what I mean by that is like one of these little, people call them different things, but one of these little cloud cakes, some vendors I can just chop in four and I have four cubes. This you can see like it crumbles apart a little bit. And it that only bothers me when I have to chop because it just makes a huge mess. But I mean, it melts the same. Um, that's just, you know, for your information her wax texture is crumbly. Um, the aesthetic is beautiful. I love everything. She has like little um, embed. She has little designs on the top. She has glitter and mica and things like that. I am not a super big fan of those things just in general, but aesthetically it is beautiful. They, it looks great. So I, I mean, I can't, I cannot fault her at all because um, her wax looks beautiful. 
Um, I would say that half and half, she has some like um, really interesting blends and like new things. And then I would say the other half is pretty standard um, or common. And um, I think that that's, I think that that's fine, especially for a smaller vendor. Um, I think it's fine to have that kind of stuff. Um, so that doesn't particularly sway me one way or the other. I would say that for performance, um, I was pretty hit or miss. So there were some scents that I could smell really strongly. There were some scents that I didn't smell as strongly. There were some scents that lasted a while. There were some scents that didn't last as long. So the um, consistency regarding um, performance was hit or miss for me. Um, I did find scents that I really liked related to scent appeal, and I think I will repurchase um, simply because I, I did like that. Um, how I, I would say if you were going to buy, um, you should know kind of what, um, what you want. I think what she does best, in my opinion, is coffee first. So if you are a coffee person, um, I, I can co-sign that all of the coffee I've ever melted from her is good. Um, and I have melted, I had a sampler. So I had like coffee with Palo, coffee with peppermint, coffee by itself, coffee with, um, Snickers, co you know, I've had a bunch of different coffee blends, um, that I've liked. Um, I think that her second probably best category would be the girly perfumey area. Um, sort of that floral body care, Bath and Body Works types. Um, I think that those that she does well with those, but I would say that for performance, um, I would lean towards fresh and um, like kind of mint fresh outdoors, that kind of thing, um, and coffee for strong performance. But for scent appeal, I would say for me, coffee and then the sort of girly stuff. Um, so let me know if you have any questions. Have you melted gems before? What do you think? Um, I would love to hear from you. Talk to you guys soon. Bye y'all.